Okay guys, so this is going to be uh, the fur handling for uh, beaver. Uh, we've got a, a nice big blanket beaver here. Uh, I weighed this beaver. He weighs uh, 48.16 pounds, you know, so it's a, it's a pretty good sized beaver. Uh, it'd be a good one to show you guys because it's big enough that you can see, see all the cuts. Uh, same thing as always, we're going to do three parts. We're going to do part one skinning, part two flashing, and part three boarding. Uh, as always, the knives I use, uh, this is just a little old timer knife. I've tried beaver knives and everything else. Uh, my personal preference, I just like it better. It's what I started with, you know, whatever. Uh, a lot of people, a lot of people like uh, beaver knives. This is a uh, kind of a modified beaver knife, you know. If it works where you go with it. Uh, I've got a different knife for cutting off the feet, just because it dulls quicker. And then I use a fillet knife to make my opening cut. Uh, a lot of people use hook blades, you know, just your personal preference. Anyway, you just need you just need a good knife. So anyway, uh, like I said, we're gonna skin this beaver out, and uh, we're gonna go real slow. Uh, you know, it, it, I know there's people that can skin them real fast. This isn't one of them uh, showing off videos. We're gonna go real slow and show you all all the exact cuts. Okay, we'll get started here. Okay, so uh, to start off with here, we're going to take and we're going to cut off the feet of our beaver. Uh, I apologize if some of this is going to be out of focus. I'm set up by myself, so I'll do the best I can. We're going to take our knife and we're going to go right behind the heel, just as close as we can to the heel. Uh, we're just going to cut down, cut through the Achilles tendon and all the meat, and then we're just going to take, and you can just take it and twist it and break all that right off. Okay, you've got a little bit of membrane left, just trim it right off. Okay, cut as close as you can to the fur on the feet because whenever you board them, you wanna be able to overlap your fur and staple it. So we're just gonna take and just cut it off, cut around, and then simply pop the foot off. We wanna be able to overlap so where we have a nice clean presentation. I stated before I've got top lot of hordes on my beaver. Uh, you know, it's yeah, it takes a little extra time, you know, but beaver's not worth that much anyway. You might as well do them right. Same thing on the front feet. We're just cutting down to the Achilles tendon. There's a joint right where the fur starts, right there. And then you can just simply twist it right off. Okay, next we're going to make our cut. You can see I've kind of got, you can see in the fur, I just kind of take my finger and just draw a line in the fur. That way I've got a good starting point. So I can go in right here by the vent. Be careful not to cut too deep. And we're just going to cut right up. the whole length of the beaver. We want to try to make this cut as straight as possible because this is actually going to end up being the, uh, the sides of the beaver on the board. So, you know, you want everything to look good and symmetrical. Next, we're going to come up from the tail and do the same thing. And we're just going to go around the vent, okay? Now you can see he's completely free. Okay, next, we're just going to take and we're going to go in here with our knife and we're just going to start skinning the beaver back. This method that I do, this is called rough skinning. Uh, there's a method called clean skinning where you, you actually leave all the fat uh, and membrane and everything on the beaver. We're not going to go into that this video. We're going to do a rough skinning video. Uh, and then a fleshing part. My personal preference is this way. Okay, we just skinned him back a ways. Come down to the tail. We're gonna get as close to the tail as possible and just skin that back. 
And we're just going to skin right up the back leg. Just follow that back leg around. It can be a little intimidating on your first one, but uh, you know, just practice makes perfect. Now, because I cut the first so close, whenever I get close to the leg, I like to take my knife because there's a little bit of connective tissue in there. Just kind of ring that and make a, just you can kind of see, make your knife go through there. That just helps you to be able to take. And once you get so far, just take and just pop that leg right through that, that hole you've created. And then just skin down the leg. Okay. We're going to board this beaver and we're going to board him flat on a board. So uh, we want to take, take a lot of caution in our skinning. Uh, we don't want to put no holes in them because there's no sewing. I mean, it's going to be very visible. This beaver is actually going to end up being uh, basically stapled or if you prefer nails, uh, stapled or nailed flat to a board. So, you know, any imperfections are going to be seen. Okay, we're just skinning right up and around the beaver. We're always keeping our knife blade, you can see, pointed down into the body of the beaver. That way if we make a, a bad cut, uh, we're going to cut the meat rather than the uh, the actual hide of the beaver. So now we're coming down around to the next other leg. And we're just gonna cut right around that. We've made our our hole like we talked about. We're just gonna take our knife and then just work right down that leg. Like I said, it's not a speed thing. Uh, go at a pace you feel comfortable with. Like I said, it's not worth putting a hole hole in the pelt to try to to try to speed things up. Uh, you know, you you put one hole in it, you're 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 just hurting yourself. Take your time, you know, and, and slow down and uh, do things right. So we'll come up to the front legs here, just like the back legs, kind of get our our knife in there, and then we're just gonna cut right up and around where we can pop the pop the leg through and then just follow it down on the other side okay like I said I leave my legs long I'll end up trimming trimming a little off of that but I'd rather trim it you know they not have enough because uh, you know the way I do the legs it, it makes for a real real nice neat presentation so we're uh, you know we're, we're gonna do everything without cutting corners going to the face area I just go ahead and take everything right now it takes a little bit longer in the skinning process but you know, we'll just cut all that off during the boarding process. No big deal. We come up to our our other front leg here. Make our little cut and just simply roll 
roll that leg you can see I'm just kind of using my hands there and just roll that roll that skin right over that bone that bone it kind of looks like the end of a drumstick where the joint is and we're just gonna just fall it right down the beaver okay now we've got this far now we're gonna take him and flip him over some people uh, some people like a a cradle or a V to skin in uh, I tried that I didn't like it I'd rather skin here on a flat table just where I can I can work the beaver around as I need it so like I said we're just gonna and just keep skinning them back don't worry if you leave any meat on them you know I had a I try not to take too much just because I do like to uh, to eat these beaver they're actually quite tasty uh, so I try not to leave too much meat on them you know you, beavers uh, beavers one useful critter man I mean you can take and there, there's so many uses for a beaver uh, you know you can take the skulls you know and uh, you know do stuff with them they look pretty cool uh, you've got the, the hide of course that you can sell and uh, of course the caster you know that's very important the uh, the oil sacks I'll do a video on removing them and uh, you know the tails the tails if you render the tails down they make great great predator bait uh, some people even take the leather from them and uh, you know do arts and crafts and stuff stuff with that and then like I said the uh, the meat you know it's very edible uh, very very tasty so anyway we're just working them right up right up the tail here right up the back towards the head we're just slowly working them like I said this is a pretty good sized beaver anyway so you know he's gonna be blanket he's got a Got a nice hide on him. And we're just working them up the back. Once you get to this point, you can almost kind of start to kind of ease it forward and pull it. Try to get it flipped around here. Or the camera better see. If at all possible, kind of keep from uh cutting the beaver open. It uh beavers they've got just a few rib cages and then just a real thin membrane going into their intestines. And it's real easy to the puncture. And then your your intestines go everywhere. Okay, so now we've worked them around. You can see, worked them around the uh, the front arms. Always cutting inward. We're gonna come up here to the head. You can see I kind of kind of use my table to my advantage. Uh, I don't know if that'll come out. I kind of drape the drape the hide over the edge of the table. 
there and use the the weight of the hide to kind of kind of keep pressure on it. We're gonna get up here. We're gonna come past the ears there, and then we're just gonna work right down, right down the skull there. He's got a pretty round head on him, so you just kind of want to follow. Follow that head, uh, make your ear holes nice and small, they will be left on the pelt, make the eye holes nice and small, you know, uh, presentations, presentations a big, big thing on beaver, uh, you know, you can turn a, a nothing beaver into a, or a something beaver into a nothing you know, real, real quick. So we've come up here now, like I said, we're doing the eyes. We're keeping, real nice small eye holes. And then once we get past the eyes, it's just a, a simple, Run downhill. Past the nose. We're gonna leave the nose on him. And there we have it. One big blanket beaver. I'm gonna take this thing and I'm gonna put it in my washing machine and I'm gonna run it through a rinse cycle. That's gonna get all the blood and the sand and dirt out of it. And then, uh, then we're gonna flush it. And uh, that'll be in part two. So until part two guys, thank you.